Canberra, January 20, 1966. A day of drama, a day on which the Prime Minister, Sir Robert Menzies, announces his retirement after an unprecedented 16 consecutive years in office. A day of tributes, some from students who pin Ming Don't Go-Go badges on the Federal Treasurer, Mr. Holt. Others from world leaders like President Johnson who says, we will listen whenever your voice is raised. Mr. Holt arrives for the meeting of government parties at which he's to be elected Prime Minister designate. And then Sir Robert. Today, for the last time, he'll preside over a meeting of the party which he himself formed and which he's led with such distinction. Inside, Sir Robert explains the reasons for his retirement. And outside, groups of students carry banners and wait for him to reappear. The next act of the drama is at Government House, where the Prime Minister arrives to tender his resignation to the Governor-General, Lord Casey. The resignation is provisionally accepted, although Sir Robert will remain Prime Minister until Mr Holt can form a ministry and be sworn in. Fifty minutes later, Sir Robert and Lord Casey appear at the door, and Sir Robert has the sealed envelope containing the Governor-General's provisional acceptance of his resignation. It is the first time an Australian Prime Minister has resigned while in office. But Sir Robert says he's over 70 and 16 years of accumulated Prime Ministership have taken their toll. Fifteen minutes after Sir Robert leaves, Mr Holt arrives at Government House to inform the Governor-General that he will be able to form a ministry. Then, back at Parliament House, the final act of the day's drama, a nationwide press conference. There, in a simple, homely talk, Sir Robert tells the people the reasons for his retirement. And in the wings, Dame Patty listens. It's an occasion unique in Australian political history. I'm not leaving a sinking ship, Sir Robert says. This is a strong country and its people are prospering. And so the drama ends. And the man who's led Australia for 16 years makes his exit from the stage.